Hello everyone, it's Han here from Ann Makes and you can uh, follow other things that I do and see uh, DIYs, how-tos that I explain in more detail on my blog at annmakes.blogspot.com and I went to Dollar Tree yesterday because I just, I just received my new iPhone and iPhone 7 Plus um, which I have to say the plus because I made a mistake when I, I went to uh, get something and I went to the Dollar Tree because of my new my new phone I wanted to get one of these screen guards uh, to protect my new phone and I did not realize at the time that this doesn't say 7 plus it, it's 7 with an asterisk so I should have paid closer attention to the fact that I have a 7 plus and uh, so I actually bought two of these and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and see if I can exchange these for 7 plus hopefully they'll have uh, Seven plus, but anyway, these screen guards are only a uh, dollar or dollar twenty-five for us in Canada, uh, because the dollar trees in Canada are a dollar twenty-five, and that's where I live. Um, so, but these are so, so such a good deal, uh, a dollar tree. Don't go, don't go to other stores to buy these. It's not worth it. Uh, while I was there, I wanted to get a utility knife or. Uh, commonly referred to as a box cutter so to keep in my uh, laundry room where I keep a toolkit I just needed one the other day I had an exacto blade which worked out but I, I would have done I would have been happier with a, a box cutter so I just wanted to keep that in my little toolkit in the house for you know when packages come in and when there's tough string to to cut from packages and such. Another item I wanted to add to my little toolkit in the house for little household repairs uh, was this set of precision screwdrivers. Uh, these I think are great to have. I have a set that I keep in the cupboard where we keep the spare batteries because a lot of things that we own and I'm sure you, you have the same situation. Um, in order to change the battery in the item, you need to open a compartment and usually the screw is so tiny. So uh, these little screwdrivers come in really handy for that. So I have a set similar to this that I keep with the spare batteries. So that way we're not running around <laughs> looking for the screwdriver set. And now I'll have another set in my little tool kit because there are times when I need to do some things around the house or I'm doing even a quick craft project and I could use a tiny screwdriver and I hate it when I go to get a battery and the screwdriver sets not with the batteries if you know what I mean so I'm just indulging myself because I really like to have my my, my like things together and the tools that go with the things together so I'll have that I was happy to see that my Dollar Tree finally, it, what, actually it's not my Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar Tree that I go to, but it's further away from my, my usual Dollar Tree. So I went there because I had not seen a lot of things, people hauling, showing up at my Dollar Tree. They're probably coming, but I, I just thought I'd go out further uh, and see if th this one had the items I was looking for and some of them are in uh, they do have the laundry boosters in the uh, citrus scent that comes in four and a half ounce bottle and also the uh, fresh scent in I believe this is 15 ounces is that correct yes so $1.25, $1.25, they smell really, really nice. And I bought several of these. I bought the equivalent of what I would buy the big downy bottle of Unstoppables. I wanna compare them to see uh, if these are a better buy than uh, the big bottle of downy I buy at Costco. 
I think this, these come out cheaper, but I'm, I want to see if we like the scent the same. Uh, these were, had just been unpacked at that Dollar Tree. So I got the brown, I don't think I got enough now, the brown, the green, and I think there's some other rolls of this decorative mesh. And on here, there are five yards, I believe, 4.57 meters. So, yeah, I got some of the green and the brown, and I, I have a few others somewhere else in another bag. They had some more of these little succulents, so I bought one more just uh, to add to my stash of faux plastic rubbery succulents. Uh, a new to me item at the Dollar Tree is this patch pouch of premium spackling. You just tear off the corner here and you have uh, some spackle. Fill holes quickly, ideal for walls and ceilings, premium spackling. It's four ounces, easy to apply and ready to paint. No shrinking or cracking, no priming or sanding required. So this is great when you uh, have a nick in a wall, you you know, you're moving furniture around and you do something to the wall and you're like, eh. So it's a quick, to do a little quick touch up. I thought these might be really practical. Uh, we are doing a lot of moving furniture around lately and so I thought, oh, you know, this will be a, this might, you know, save us some uh, frustration. <laughs> So, I got a couple of those. A repurchase uh, for me is the LA's Totally Awesome Floor Cleaner in Lavender. It does clean ceramic and no wax floors. This is a bottle with 20% more. The total amount in here is 48 fluid ounces. It's a very, very big bottle. I rebuy re this. I use this, and I apologize if this is too much information, but I use this in my bathrooms. I like to pour it into the receptacle that holds up the brush that we use to clean the, the thrones, the toilets. And it just, and this, it's, it's a stainless steel thing that we have with a plastic insert. And so I, I fill that plastic part with the, the floor cleaner. And uh, because there are like little vent holes at the top of this receptacle, uh, it, it just freshens my bathroom. And so every time someone uses the facility and it could use a little freshening up, they can just take the brush out of the liquid so there's already like a cleaner and swoosh it around and you know and then put the brush back and it just you know it smells nice and it does a quick cleanup job so this this is just my little quick cleaning tip also uh, a frequent repurchase are the napkins there are 160 in here for $1.25 I keep pricing napkins, paper napkins. Yes, they're, they're, you know, these are thin. They're not high quality, of course not. But uh, I keep pricing these to other places, and this is still the best deal by far. I mean, I, I buy uh, nicer napkins for, you know, when we have guests over. I also have cloth napkins for... You know, our special occasions, cloth napkins that match my tablecloth. You know, I have I have all that. But for everyday use, for all the snacks and all you know the munching on the go that we have, I like to have those inexpensive napkins. I wanted to buy new brushes for my kitchen. I'm very picky about you know, these things in my kitchen. Uh, I don't like how sometimes certain family members uh, use these brushes that I keep purchasing for the wrong purpose and leave them all gunky in this in the sink and I just they're just gross <laughs> and I toss them in the dishwasher to get them washed and hopefully disinfected and then I just you know 
I toss them and go to the dollar store and buy new ones. <laughs> I, I'm very picky. Uh, so I got this one with the the spongy thing. This one for, you know, the, the metal pots, the stainless steel pots. This I got for the glasses. And this is just because I, uh, there are, you know, just like this one. So people don't want to get their hands wet. They don't mind messing up the dishes, they don't mind messing up the kitchen, but they don't like getting their hands messy to clean up a dish or a pot. Okay. That's enough of the dirty talk about my family, isn't it? There are also snacks that I bought at Dollar Tree and I will insert that little clip here. So the next thing I will share with you is my indulgence in the Bachi, the Bachi uh, chocolates. I got one in dark and one in milk chocolate. Um, I've seen these a few times at Dollar Tree and I thought this is a mistake. This could not be at the Dollar Tree because I remember this chocolate being quite a big deal when I was younger. Uh, this is a really really good chocolate and it used to be really like something you only got on special occasions like uh, Christmas and maybe Easter because it's it was imported from Italy and it was just not not inexpensive put it that way I see now that it is a Nestle product so I don't know if that has changed the quality of it or not uh, it probably has a lot to do with the fact that this is available now in the Dollar Tree um, because it, yeah, this is a reputable brand and uh, I get, look forward to tasting it to see if it's just as good as it used to be. Apparently it is. I have other friends here on YouTube who, who have hauled this and recommended it. So, uh, yeah. I thought, okay, if you guys liked it, then I should, I should like it too. I liked it when I was younger, when it was the one that was directly from Italy. So, uh, I think I'll, I'll enjoy this. I got some of these iPads. This one were, is the revitalizing one, and this one is the vitamin C. Uh, they are for a 15-minute application to help with you know your under eyes your bags your lines i got those so there are two sets two pairs in each box so that's that's a pretty good deal i picked up another package of these little nails i haven't used this one uh the, the other one that i have like this yet i am waiting for <laughs> my nails to get a little stronger I've been treating them lately because I damaged them a lot the first time I used uh, acrylic nails so I've learned from my last experience and uh, yeah so if I want some pretty nails for an occasion I will have them and this time I will do a better job of putting them on I saw this. I don't think this is a new item. I just think my, that Dollar Tree found some and they put them out. I thought this would look nice in my closet. I like the, the little pink on it and black. It's sparkle every day. And I thought the three little hooks were practical to hang things. Little There's little things, you know. There's like uh, tiny chains or tiny... They're like little belts and things like that, that I just don't know how to store. And I just thought, oh, this would be a good way to hang them up and they would be out of the way. And what I like about this also is that it's wood. And I would like to get some more of these little cup hooks. And I think I have some, but I'll have to spray paint them black and I could add a few hooks in here so I could hang more things. And that's one thing I wish I could find at Dollar Tree 
is more of these little hardware things, like little hooks and stuff and such, because uh, otherwise I have to go to the hardware store, and my hardware store is not the greatest. It doesn't have a lot of practical little things like that. And when I find some, it's really overpriced. I don't know why, but yeah. So I wish I could get more, more little hardware thingies at Dollar Tree. We do have somebody's birthday. We have a couple birthdays coming up. And I thought this was a really nice gift bag. It says wish big. And I you can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but it is all glittery. It's very pretty. This, the back is the same but without the glitter and I just thought this is a really nice bag it goes well for a man too not just you know there's a lot of the gift bags are so pretty but they always seem very feminine so um, I was happy to see this one that was kind of you know neutral this uh, because this is such a really big haul uh, I'm going to do the rest of the haul in another video and also because I can hear right now the thunder I'm outside and it might be more prudent for me to uh, it might be more, more prudent for me to stop so I'm gonna uh, end this part of the haul right here and the net the rest of the haul will be in another video uh, I hope you uh, liked this video I hope you found it uh, helpful and interesting <laughs> please give it a thumbs up please like comment share and I'll see you after the next part mm -hmm.